sorry about that. I'm going to pressure flake it. A fairly sharp point. And this will be random because all I'm doing is dressing the edge, making it straight, removing deltas, I guess they call these. Just straightening the edge. I'm not worried too much about driving flakes into the point. So this does not require much pressure. I'm not worried about setting up platforms right now because I still got pretty good width. If I need to set up a platform to remove this material, I can do it easily. I still have some width to work with. The most important thing I'm worried about right now is just dressing that edge and straightening it out because the Clovis points always had a very straight edge, especially near their base. Near the tip sometimes it was a little wavy, but the hafting area was always very straight. I also have a pad for my hand I can do this with. But I use the pad on my leg mostly so I can see the overall shape easier. So this is random right now, just taking flakes off to straighten the edges.
Okay. So the edges are fairly straight. What's going to happen now is I'm going to grind it again. One last grinding all the way around. Not too much here on the tip, except where I need to develop a platform like to clear this. Clear this off, I'll need to develop a platform here to send a flake across that way. But other than that, um, I'll just kind of grind it generally, I won't be specific. I'm not grinding in here because I'm not going to be sending more flakes inward there. The fluting is already done. I'll send a few flakes to clean up these these hinges or steps here. But that's about it. I do need to clean off this area. There's some still some good mass in there so I can send a flake across. I'm going to try to do the finishing flaking with this with the fewest number of flakes possible. grinding. That's still a preform at this stage. But it'll be, the, it'll be a finished point once I do the this next pass of cleanup flakes and a, a narrowing of the base here. I'll be doing beveling, flaking on both sides of this hafting area and then the final grinding and then it'll be finished. Okay, that's enough for braiding. I think that's the first flake I'm going to do right here. that mass here. Now I have to be very careful at this point. Make sure I have enough bite to send a long enough flake. cleared it off but it, I took off some of the other edge with an overshot. Uh, it's not too bad. It took off more than I wanted, of course. But I think I'll, I can finish it out anyway.
I'm going to do a series of flicks this way. Probably starting from the bottom here and going up. So I'm just going to bevel the edge by grinding. The point is a little more narrow than I wanted, but it still looks clovisy. This rock is really steppy, but uh, I'll be done in a minute. I'm not going to spend too much time worrying about these little uh, hinges. This base could use a little more thinning. Okay, Let's see if I can show you the flake scar pattern in the sunlight. All I'll be doing now is uh, pressure flaking final pressure flaking pass to clean up the edges, clean up the base, and then I'll do the grinding for the hafting area. Now with this pass I'm just going to make sure it's sharp.
And the clover snapper started from the point and worked down to sharpen it. This edge looks kind of jaggedy, but it's pretty straight. So I'm not going to worry too much about neatness there, as long as this edge is straight. And then I'm going to concentrate on making this, or dressing this uh, base area up. They seem to put a lot of importance on the hafting area, so I'm going to be very careful there. And the straighter you make this, and the smaller the flakes you take off, the easier it will be to grind it smooth. Okay. There's a little bit of wave that dips down a little bit there or dips to the to my right I guess I could try to take some of that out I'm driving flakes into the point Still a little bit of a, of a dip, but I'm just going to leave it like that. So I'm just doing short beveling flakes in the hafting area. I'm not going to worry about that step. I might be able to take some of it out. But if I can't, I'm not going to worry about it.
Sorry about that. I hope I wasn't out of the frame for too long. So the only step now is to uh, to grind the edges. I'm going to use this little grinding stone here. It's it's kind of a hard stone. It's not crumbly. It's not sandstone or anything. Like my cat wants some attention. I'm not going to grind it down all the way just to save some time here on the video, but there's a lot of grinding. A lot of time spent grinding on some of these points. But I'm just going to show you the basic technique that I use. Just a simple grinding stone. A braiding stone. And I'm putting a pretty good amount of pressure on that. My cat's stepping on the camera. And I also abrade the surface. Make sure this is well polished in the hafting area. Now braiding the surface gets rid of some of these little fingernail hinges. Probably reduce the appearance of some of these on, on this side. I abrade the uh, surface because overall. I've noticed that Clovis points feel smooth all the way around except for the sharp edge. But everything else feels smooth. So there you go. That's a uh, small Clovis type point. The flake scar pattern has some bold flaking on both sides. 
Let's see if we can get out of focus. There's multiple flutes there. But one main one that was done during the preform stage. And on this side, there's not much left of it, but it is thin for hafting. It, does, uh, it is wedge shaped there. Nice translucency. Okay, that's it. Sorry, not much change in format, but I changed my mind about filming at night, so there you go.